What is going on everybody man Mike is back with another video back here to talk about iPad OS 17 both in terms of new features coming to the iPad and here as you guys know rocking my brand new iPad Pro have been enjoying learning how to use an iPad outside of an iPhone <laughs> unless there's also new software we're gonna be getting into so if you guys want to stay tuned for that and then of course once we kind of go through the iPad OS features we're getting into the public beta 3 or developer beta 5 for the iOS, iPad OS 17 beta program so that way you guys can kind of get some more of the little nicks and crannies of the software so the first thing we're going to talk about that I'm probably not going to show you guys because I do not have an Apple pencil is the fact that autofill annotate slash doodle has been improved and or added to the iPad with the inclusion of the Apple pencil and freeform has added better pin recognition and no doubt some tweaks and enhancements to the hover capabilities that you now get with the M2 version of the iPad Pro. And aside from the Apple Pencil now, external camera use so far exclusive to FaceTime has been added to the iPad Pro as well. I don't know if it's just the iPad Pro, but you can use an external webcam, it sounds like. I don't know about an external camera yet or how far that will branch out in the future. And it's only exclusively for FaceTime. It will be nice to see if they will add the inclusion of cameras as well as third party apps like a YouTube or like a Zoom or other video conferencing apps. That way we could really make the best use out of our tablets or our iPads for larger productive use. Case in point, being able to live stream from the iPad with camera support. That would be an amazing feature for Apple to add because then I might actually live stream more often on this channel if I could do that. What are some of the features that we're actually getting for the iPad? Well, they're basically exactly the same as iOS 17. We're going to start off with, there it is. This is my initial home page i didn't know i i created a whole home page outside of this but this is basically my essential first screen that you see looks very much so like a macbook slash macbook pro this is my main screen right here that i customized and i like it so far and maybe it's ios 17 specific but i think it's i think it came with ipad os 16 not just ipad os 17 but you can actually customize the layout both for portrait and for landscape lock screen you get the ability to change and add lock screen then one of the lock screens that you could add is more planet or that, that apple added was more planets for the lock screen for both iphone and ipads and as you guys see i'm rocking i believe this is neptune right now but upon pressing and holding you get the option to customize and if you want to customize the lock screen add widgets and landscape and portrait so i just also realized that you can customize both the portrait and landscape lock screen as well different from each other and i think i'm gonna have this set up exactly the same so i'm gonna set up i'm gonna go weather oh so in portrait it adds it similar to an iphone so if that's the case i don't want to add it but as you guys can see you can add different widgets to your lock screen that will align similar to the iPhone. Keep in mind when you add widgets, as of right now, it does disable the depth effect. Hopefully they address it and or fix that and allow allow depth effect to still work because it essentially will kind of give you like three layers of depth, which is cool, kind of like a true 3D look. So hopefully they can get that to work, but as of right now, it disables depth effect if you use widgets in that way. Now in landscape, I don't know if it's a bug or not, but in landscape, let me go ahead and hit cancel. In landscape on here, I don't know if depth effect is voided or not because the widgets are to the left. So I don't know if I can show you guys, as you guys can see. So depth effect is working with the widgets to the left side of the display. So I don't know if that's a problem or not, but as of right now, it's working, but it's also intermittent. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. As I just showed you guys, the lock screen, you can also customize the home screen. You can pair it or of course put your own photo. And then of course you can change the colors and the gradients and 
the uh, option to either blur your background or not. Now interactive widgets, you can now touch widgets to make them actually function. So down here I got uh, MD Vinyl, that's an app I'm using and it's linked to Apple Music. You only can link it to Apple Music and or Spotify. I'm using Apple Music. Got Central C up here with that Sprint off. And if I want to, I can hit play and it will play. Now, of course, you guys can't hear nothing. But if I also want to show you guys YouTube, if I hit YouTube Shorts in the middle, it's going to take me straight to the Shorts. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, sorry, what's going on? And that is the ability to use interactive widgets. If you have reminders, right, you can do a check off list and actually interact if you're using, you know, home. So maybe if I wanted to add, oh, I probably have to open the app, don't I? So now that I have this open and active, maybe it will, yes, allow. Okay, so I think that's one of the issues with public beta two and now three is that home is not, the home widgets are not properly functioning on the home screen. Now I believe they do work in the control center just fine, but then having a tough time working in as a widget during the beta software. Speaking of something new added though, health app has been added to the iPad. So now upon opening this, share my data, that's what I do. I'll get to that in a second. I guess I can get that. I can confirm or update my details here soon, but all the stuff and stats that I basically record through my phone and or through my Aura Ring that is actually linked to Apple Health and, and or Apple Fitness, it will give me that information here. And then of course, using the tablet, you get more information at a glance and it's probably a little bit more enjoyable to look this way as opposed to on your phone. Even if you have a Pro Max, I think having the ability to see it on a large display like the iPad is pretty solid and you get that inclusion here with iPad OS 17. Other feature that they've added is PDF viewer functionality, meaning that it highlights the fields in a PDF that you can then highlight, fill them out, and then send it back to whoever you need it to. So I've thankfully had a PDF that I found on here. Was it in my files app? I think it was. Yes, so here's a, a, a PDF that highlights the stuff for me. This is one of my contracts that I send people for weddings or, you know, sessions that, that people would you know inquiring about or would like to sign and, and and you know so I can provide them services. But you see up here at the top where it says open in Acrobat and you see the share button. Next to it is an actual funk uh, button that allows for those fields to be filled out. So upon hitting it, then they pop up. And then of course if I wanted to mark it up, then here's my pen tool selection here. And I could use my hand and or I would imagine an Apple pencil and fill out that way. But of course, having an Apple Pencil makes all this that much more easier, even to the fact that it highlights the little check boxes down here where you see personal portrait session, couple session, and then, you know, any other things that you want to see, your signatures. Of course, I got my long list of uh, <laughs> terms and services that you need to agree to. Signature, email me there. And that's an old number that don't work. I actually need to kind of update this contract because I just got rid of that number. But this is PDF Viewer in iPad OS 17. Great way to add additional functionality to the iPad so that way it starts separating itself from the iPhone, but also starts gravitating towards the MacBooks or desktop experience. That is something that we definitely need here with the iPad. And the last beautiful feature that they've updated and improved is Stage Manager for the iPad. And you can use Stage Manager in Landscape and in Portrait. So upon swiping over here to the to the right in control center hit stage manager so now upon opening an app let's say i want to open the files app now as you see all the apps that i've been dealing with are now over here to the side but what they've updated is ability to size your windows and as you see you can push them out the way you can bring them back in you can drag one and overlay right and if i want to drop my keyboard i want to resize this and then, oh, I don't know if I can, yes I can. So if I wanna do something like that, and then I wanna open, I wanna bring my health music up here. <clears throat> I wanna resize that, cause I don't need, I wanna look at it kinda similar to an iPad, and maybe I want it there. Then this is the app I'm in right here. Let's bring the PDF viewer back up. This is what's going on. 
then at any point, I can go ahead and do this. Now all those windows that I had open now are stage left. And then, <laughs> and then if I wanna click it, all those windows pop back up. See, YouTube is, YouTube is a full screen app, but if you swipe from the left, it will drop it back and minimize it. So that way you can restage everything. Oh, okay, so you can add another window on top. And then, you know, I can do that. And now all those windows pop up right there. All those pop up right there. They've improved, but clearly not all the way. They've improved slide over. Those are the main features that are being brought to iPadOS 17. Now let's get into the nooks and crannies and let's start off with settings, going into general, then going to iPad storage. I actually don't know if it's actually on here. We're going to check right now. Upon showing off, yes, synced content is down here as well. This syncs between your device and your computer. So apparently with Apple devices, stuff that I'm constantly learning, the thing that you have synced will be able to show up on the actual device. One of the things I didn't really realize and learn until after, you know, transforming my data over on here was everything that gets shared here through iCloud is shared on my iPhone, which is a good and bad thing because now I have unified storage from that perspective, but then also storage is still sucked up on the other device until of course I get rid of those files. But iCloud gives you that versatility and that connection, that synchronicity with all your devices. And I like that very much so. Now, upon going back and going to accessibility, come down here, the uh, assistive access icon has changed from blue to gray. Now you can see it right there. It has also changed. Also in Safari, if you privately browse, I did it again. I gotta click this, all right, get rid of this. And if I want to click on tabs, go to private, we get a new, splash screen here and ad blockers work again if you're using them in safari they work with public beta 3 developer beta 5. and the last thing i'm going to show you guys is back within the health app some i actually forgot to show you guys for ios 17 but within the health app so i'm going to bring it back where are you at if you scroll down here mood has drastically improved so if i hit get started you get a new splash for it as well, but it has changed how you felt overall today. So now, as you guys can see, it's a little bit more moving. It's a little bit subtler than, well, I, I thought it was a little bit more vibrant in my, in my opinion, but you can, of course, as you swipe, the colors change. So very unpleasant is purple, which is interesting. But as you graduate, unpleasant, slightly unpleasant, neutral, slightly pleasant, pleasant, very pleasant. You see how it gets? I'm gonna go in here to pleasant. That's how I'm feeling overall today. I would say excited because I get to play around with the iPad. I would say passionate about tech, joyful because at the end of the day and I'm relaxing, watching a nice show on Apple TV Plus. I'm feeling brave to try to tackle both of these videos back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Proud of myself for getting done. Believe that it's pretty much over with. Grateful for this opportunity. Hit next. And then what's having the biggest impact on you? I would probably say fitness because I got my run in. I timed myself for the first time running a mile. Eight minutes, 59 seconds. So just under nine minutes, which is nice. Self-care, I would say those two going hand in hand hobbies. What we're doing right now, recording, talking about tech, talking about new products, for me anyway, with the iPad and iPhone. Let's see, feeling spiritual all the time, read the Bible. Hope you guys do too. Uh, community, because that's what we are, baby. All you guys support me. Me trying to help you guys out in the world of technology and software. That's what we do. Y'all like family, because we friends online. You know what I'm saying? And then, what else? That's pretty much it. <laughs> and then it logs it in just like that. Boom. And then that's your card for August 10th. So play around with the mood feature. It's actually pretty cool. I mean, as you guys can see, you can either log it in that moment or you can log it for overall the overall day. And that's a way for you to kind of, I don't want to say check your emotions, but evaluate how you're feeling. It's, it's your own personal software journal, if you were, for, for your mood. Even if you don't have to necessarily do a lot of writing, you can still express yourself through the health app that is now available on the iPad Pro. Let me know 
what you guys think about iPad OS 17 and shoot why not iOS 17 are they still too much alike is Apple is Apple giving us clear indication that they're starting to try to separate the iPhone from the iPad or are they still too much the same just in different orientations and shapes let me know down in the comment section below but again as always if you guys haven't already make sure to like the like button subscribe to the channel the notification bell so for my videos so it should be back to like see what's cracking but you're Mike signing out to the next video wait for it.